Right guys, so my project continues. Um, I purchased these stereo female mountable jacks off of eBay. And if you can see they've got three pins on them. Uh, you got for your red and your white and then your neutral. Alright, so I'm going to put one of these at the base of my ashtray. Uh, I should have done this a stage back, but I recorded this a stage back, but it, if you can see now there, inside I've mounted my uh, socket. Really simple, once I popped out the ashtray, just use the drill, drill a hole into the back and did it tight enough so that it could just screw in and there's no need to put a nut on the back because it's, it's nice and tight in there. Um, so now that it's in place, it's nice and neat, I can um, start soldering my cable so again here's my funnel cables, my RCA cables and what happens is once you strip it down you'll get one side has got a red core one side will have a white core and they'll both have this neutral, I think it's neutral, it's not shielded but they'll both have sort of a neutral um, strands running through either side and those two you bind together. And I'm going to have to stick some tape on here or use some of the bits of shield that I cut off to um, make sure they don't touch. But uh, yeah, next stage is um, soldering them to the port on the back of the stereo, on the back of the ashtray. Alright, good stuff. So that goes to there. Right. I'm a complete amateur when it comes to the soldering iron. Um, I've got the gist of it, but. Um, I haven't checked any videos on how to do this the best way. Just put a bit on there and keep it hot. And that one to transfer onto the wire. That's it. Just get in there. That seems to have done it. Although it's not the neatest job I've ever done, but um, yeah, that's all three wires soldered. Right, I've got to connect this up now to the actual socket itself, and then uh, solder those into place. So red, white, and the the two that we joined together in the middle. Guys, just a little pointer when you're coming to do this solder the middle pin first because um, it's it's a nightmare trying to get the, the red and the white in the right place afterwards so just solder that middle longest pin first get that one down then it's easier to hook in the other two plus when you twine the two bits of cable together um, they're probably going to be a bit thicker for the hole and I couldn't be asked to just make the metal hole bigger the hole in the metal bigger so um yeah, just took my time and soldered that on there. Make sure I've got a good connection. Now I'm going to go on to the other two little ones, the white and the red. Solder the white cable on. I just discovered if you heat this for too long, it melts the damn socket, so you've got to be careful. Right, so that's three wires soldered. I hope this is correct because that was really fiddly and uh, <laughs> quite a pain. So yeah, I hope, fingers crossed it all works first time and uh, we're done on this side. I'm just going to cover up the, the bits of exposed metal with tape um, so that they don't touch at all or touch anything else. So there you have it guys, all taped up and ready to go. Right guys. Here we are back in the car, so we've got our kit now hooked up to the port on the ashtray. Alright, so if this works then I'll shove it all down the back. Um, probably tomorrow, not today, I can't be asked, tired. And um, yeah, this this cable I have here at the moment out of the iPod is only a mono. I couldn't find a damn stereo sods law in it, you need a stereo lead. 
and it's not there. So, look, I ain't tried this before, and I've no idea if it's going to work. So, fingers crossed, here we go, first time, all right? So, I'm going to press play here. I've got a green light down there, so that's working. Press mode here. Oh, yes. And what a great track to start this with. <laughs> This is genuine happiness because this is working. So it's working, the sound quality isn't fantastic, but that it's over the lead. It could be the MP3 quality. Look, all right, look, I'm happy, it's working, so iPod plugged into my new aux port, CD player is gone, hopefully that means my battery drain is gone too, I can switch between my shitty tape, radio, iPod, Quality, right. So I'm just going to tidy this up a little bit. Right, so I think the biggest problem I'm going to have is getting all of this in the back of this console because there really isn't a lot of space. There's most spaces to the back left. So um, what I've done is pushed the ashtray back in now. The port in there. And I've run the wire up around the back of the um, climate control unit so I'm gonna tie this up a little bit make it a little bit neater and then plug it in and then slowly see if I can feed everything down the back left and put the stereo back together right guys I stuck the climate control back in and just to give you an idea I had to break the harness the radio harness just there well on this side if you can see at the back there's a piece of plastic right there on this side um, just where those red or white wires are, that piece of plastic is gone so that I can stick the silver box right down the back in there alright, there's a little bit of space in there and also that will allow me to stick the rest of the loom around the back of the climate control, there's a little square hole there and that should be spot on so fingers crossed this will all go back together it's getting dark now <laughs> that's why I'm on the torches alright guys, I'm going to try and film this, I've been doing this for about an hour maybe more but it's really tight in here, so it's really awkward, but if you can see, I've managed to get the, the fat loom right behind the climate control tucked down in there, and right at the very back is where the audio cable is going to go, and there's a hole to the left, which I'm just going to drop them in there, but it's really fiddly, and um, I was nearly <laughs> going to give up, but uh, just had a bit of a brainwave, so um, I want to proceed and see if I can get this finished. Right guys, we've a hell of a lot of fiddling around. Um, I've managed to get the stereo in position. I've got to turn it on to see if it works. If it doesn't, I'm going to be heartbroken. But um, that should be it. Right, I'll film this again in the morning, but I'm there. All right, stereo's back, um, ashtray's back, climate control's back. I've just got to turn it on and uh, give it a whirl. Right, guys, I'm sorry for the shit quality of this video towards the end. Um, like I said, I'll probably try and do another one, but for now, radio is on, 
I plugged in my wire. Plugged in the wire back into the, the ash tree. I have not tried it yet, so first time you, first time me. A little bit disappointed because I've got some scratches on my climate control, which I'll have to look at tomorrow and try and deal with that. But anyway, um, iPod on and turn it down. Drop my iPod. Right, let's go. I am a happy bunny. I am quite proud of myself. <laughs> anyway. Job done. Right guys, just to conclude my video. It's now the next day. And I had to pop out to the shops to get um, a stereo. So we got stereo to stereo cable. Right, so I know this is a stupid one, but if you didn't know, those two little black wires tell me that it's stereo. If there was one little mark, then it would be mono. Um, I'm going to give it a go. So, right, that's in there nice and tight. Okay, so. That's all plugged in nice and neat. iPod plugged in. Sorry guys, trying to film at the same time. Uh, st stereo's on. Play. And there we go. Stereo sound. I was worried about the quality but not being too good, but you know what, that's that's all I need. Happy days. Anyway, I hope this um, helps some of you to do the same thing. It's a hell of a lot easier just buy a new car with your hooks already done. But if you have an old E46, then this is a nice, easy way to um, get your iPod plugged in there.